Hi guys, Naji here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing on AWS Bedrock inference parameters. Even though the topic is about AWS Bedrock, these inference parameters are common in most of the LLMs. Okay, there are there may be like some plus or minus, but uh, but most of the cases this is common to all the LLMs. So inference parameters are values that you can adjust to limit or influence the model response. Okay, so that is the definition for inference parameters. So uh, this will help us to control the response from LLM. So there are um, two type of uh, difference parameters, I mean inference parameters that we are going to discuss. One is randomness and diversity. So uh, the, those parameters that will influence the, that will bring the randomness and the diversity to the LLM model. So <clears throat> there are mainly three parameters. One is temperature, top K and the top P. So we can discuss that in detail. So before that, uh, let me show you uh, these parameters in, in our AWS bedrock. So here let me select a model. Uh, let me go to here. So this is the, let me delete this, okay, <clears throat> these are the configurations, okay, so if you go to this configuration, we can see that this is the one parameter that is randomness, that will bring the randomness and the diversity, which includes the temperature, top P and top K, and there is another one is the length, which has a maximal length and a sequence, um, sequences, and another one is the guardrail, okay. So this is to uh, provide some kind of a, a security or manage the uh, kind of a guard that will provide that we can discuss in a, another video. Okay. So we can go through one by one what is temperature. So temperature, it says choose a lower value to influence the model to select higher probability output. Choose higher value for temperature to influence the model to select lower probability output. So which means lower temperature, okay, so if you select the temperature is lower, like, uh, like if the temperature is, usually that its value is between 0 and 1 and if you select the lower temperature that is 0, then this will always bring the high probability token, okay. For example, here see the example, I hear the hoof beats off then consider these are the uh, next uh, this, these are the probability of the words like horses zebras and the unicorns and here horses will be 0 0.7 and zebras will be 0 0.2 and unicorns will be 0 0.1 okay so if the temperature is zero or the temperature is lower value this will always bring the result as a horses okay and so this will not give any random value Okay, so this will always give a uh, the highest probability value. So consider if our uh, temperature is maybe 1, the higher value, then this will give some randomness to the output. Okay, so that means from this it may take unicorns or it may take zebras or it may take horses. Okay, so that is how the temperature works. So for that, uh, maybe we can do a, a sample here. So let me copy this. and I can paste it here. Now let me uh, to control my um, let me set it to 200 tokens. Okay. So currently I am going to set the temperature as 0. That is a lower value. So we can see what is the result. Okay. It says I don't have the access. Mm. Sorry, let me check that. Mistral instruct. I have a <coughs> selective model. Mistral. Okay, this is my model. So let me paste it here. Now we can try. Here I can make it to zero. Now I am trying, 
so it says uh, i heard the hoof beats of uh, the horses and okay let me make it 200 i'm going to remove it and i'm going to try it again okay so it says i hear the hoof beats of the horses okay and i can try it again okay sorry uh, so let me delete this, this and let me try it again okay so this also says about uh, the similar thing now let me it also says it's about the horse and uh, let me try it again so it also says about the horses okay so when the temperature is um, low this will give almost same result so maybe we can try it with one now i can try it see so this this brings the randomness it says that something different my heart bumping in my eyes okay and again i can try this one so this also gives the uh, different result so which means if the temperature is very high that will bring some kind of a randomness to the result so based on use case we can select this temperature okay so go back to our slide we can go to the another uh, the next parameters that is top k choose lower value to decrease the size of the pool and limit the option to more likely output and uh, choose higher value to increase the size of the pool and allow the model to consider less likely output so consider example if we choose the top k is equal to 50 okay that means um, the result will containing the top most probable top 50 most probable tokens okay so this will help us to control um, control our output for example if you select 100 if the top k is 100 so the in the probability list we will have a 100 token from that the model will select one token okay so if you if, if we arrange with if, or if we play with this temperature and top k values just imagine the temperature is 1 okay and uh, top k is 100 then this will bring more randomness to the result okay and we can set the top k is equal to 1 or top k is equal to 2 okay so which will means we will have the it will select only the top two tokens from top two tokens highly probable tokens okay and for example um, here it, it has a three values that is top k is equal to three that is why we are getting the three values in this result so we can also try that in our amazon bedrock so if you guys are trying this um, so each api call will cost some money but very uh, very minimum okay so here uh, we can see the top k so by default top k is 50 right so maybe uh, let me make it uh, 10 sorry let me make it okay at least i need to have some okay 10 then we can try this one okay so its temperature is very high right so this is giving me uh, some value and again i can try it uh, this is giving me another value okay uh, maybe i can make it only one token okay the temperature is very high and the top case one let me see this so it says it says the four horsemen okay so let me try it again see it's again giving us the same result okay so what is the reason for this one okay just think okay because even though the temperature is one okay it will try to get it will try to predict next word but here its top k is one right so always there is only one token okay so it will always select what we call the same result again and again okay i believe uh, that is uh, clear now we can talk about top p we are going to top p 
so let me do a slide show here choose lower value to decrease the size of the pool and limit the option to more li more likely output choose a higher value to increase the size of the pool and allow the model to consider less likely output so maybe definition will be same as top k but here top p right p stands for probability okay so here we can see if you choose a value for 0.8 for top p the model select from the top 80 percentage of probability distribution of tokens that could be next in the sequence okay i can explain it details okay so this consider this is the output horses is equal to 0 0.7 percentage i mean 0 0.7 probability zebras is equal to 0 0.2 probability unicorns is 0 0.1 probability so if we set the top p as 0 0.7 okay so that means this will return only these horses okay right because if you say 0 0.7 the horses itself cover 0 0.7 right so this will return only 0 0.7 and if you set 0 0.9 if the top p 0 0.9 so which means we have to select uh, 90 percentage probable tokens from the bucket okay. so that means here this will select horses and zebras so this will covers 90 percentage or 0 0.9 okay so that is how the top p works we can uh, try this one um, maybe i can set it to uh, 50 okay here i am i set it to 50 now let me run it okay it says four horsemen now let me run it again okay so in the second run this is giving a a different result so what i can do we can set uh, top one um, so we i can set 0 0.1 okay so here let me run this <coughs> So this giving a result and let me run it again this giving a another result okay. and here also i can try it um, top p 100 percentage then let me try this okay so this is giving a different result So this is also giving a same result. I think this is the same a thousand of horses. Let me try it again. Uh, okay, this giving different different result. Okay. So in this way, we will able to control the temperature or the diversity or randomness of the LLM using temperature top P and the top K values. Okay. So now we can see next parameters that is length. Okay, that is length which contains the maximum length and the stop sequence. Okay, so here uh, maybe let me, um, let me refresh it. Here the maximum token is, and let me paste the thing. Okay, so here maximum token length is 512 tokens, right? So I can make it 10, then see the result, see we are getting only 10 tokens. So in this way we will able to control the, the output, okay. So this is very important because um, uh, otherwise most of the LLMs are charging with respect to the tokens, okay. So if you control this, we will able to save some money. And next is uh, the stop sequence. Okay, so if you want to add some, for example, uh, let me run, okay. If you want to add um, something, some tokens as a stop sequence, I, I will able to add that because for example, uh, let me say that off. If I put off as my stop sequence, 
okay this sequence will stop whenever it sees a whenever it comes a off okay so let me try it see the four horsemen off so as soon as it sees the off it says stop sequence and this will stop our gen it will stop generating the tokens okay so that is uh, about um, length and all so let me make it okay stop sequence we have discussed okay yeah so that's it and um, thank you very much and please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye and one more thing when you guys play around it's charging it will it will, but very, very minimum but ensure that when you play ensure please keep this in mind okay bye bye